Um, but as a content marketer, I get it. Creating these 19 pieces of content is really time consuming. Um, and it may not and probably isn't practical to do for every webinar. Um, but there are a few things you can do with recorded content for every webinar um, that will give you twice as much content. Um, so if you take those recordings, and you can, you know, we like to do a quick edit and just grab a two-minute segment that we think is relevant. But you could also use a recording in its entirety. Um, we like to share that in email. Um, and you know, obviously we're going to share it with everyone that was on today's call and the people that registered who didn't attend. But we also will take our recordings and we'll put them into our demand gen campaigns and we'll share those out with prospects. Um, because with a registration form in front of it, again, it's a great way to move people through our demand gen funnel. Um, we like to, to do press releases and embed that recording. You know, PR Newswire has some great tools that lets you put video right there on the same page as your press release. Um, so we love, we love doing that as well. Um, again, embedding it on a blog post, linking to it in social media. Um, YouTube has, is one of the highest ranking actual search engines available after Google. So using YouTube to its full power, putting both the recording and segments out there. Um, we embed it in web pages, and we publish it on a podcast series. 